another video for my uh, food of Kotlanta. I'm, uh, this is the main road, the only main road that goes the length of Kotlanta. And I'm standing down here and I'm at Lazy Bird. And I'm gonna have some breakfast, but I'm gonna do some video first. And of course I'll show some photos of the uh, food in the video and I'll give details of how to find this place. Really nice lady runs this place. And um, yeah, so let's have a look. It's a small little place. And uh, even though it's on the main road, it gets a little bit noisy, but it's quite pleasant. I usually sit here, right on the front. Many, many people come here for the food because the food is spectacularly fresh and it is incredibly tasty. This lady makes the best pesto sauce I have ever tasted and extremely nice bagels. I've never been into bagels, but I have since I have been here because there's a couple of places that do really nice bagels and bagels are really nice. And uh, the food's really nice. Lots of people come here and lots of people actually come back here time and time again. It's not a bar, it's only open in the daytime for uh, breakfast and brunch. Part of the uh, serving and cooking area here. And uh, Pier 1 is over there cooking. This is the lady that owns this place and makes the incredibly fantastic food and sourdough bread fresh every day. Thank you. Thank you. you. Very tasty indeed. Uh, there's uh, a couple of hammocks. You can sit down and in the hammock and swing around while you're eating your breakfast. Or you can just sit over here like this couple and uh, enjoy the view of uh, one's little garden. And the little garden has lots of things in it. Some fresh basil there. And then of course there's uh, this little sucker here that I think is actually a boy and will have to uh, be cold at some stage or other very soon. Yeah, so this is Lazy Bird Cafe. And uh, she makes really good coffee. Of course, she makes that fantastic fresh sour bre uh, sourdough bread every day. And uh, really nice bagels. It's a pleasant little place. And I really like coming here because the food is fantastic. So there it is there, Lazy Bird. And if you're in Kotlanta, just familiarize yourself with this little street scene because it's right here on the main road in Hong Kong, next door to Pinky's restaurant. So this is going to be one of the restaurants in my um, in my little series I'll do on eating on Kotlanta because there's so much special food here. So this restaurant is called Kao Yai. And as you can see, upper structure the part of the restaurant is all bamboo it's absolutely amazing technology bamboo technology it's incredible it really is incredible yeah so have a look at that it's just incredible even the roof is bamboo they have pretty good food here 
a little bit pricey. Uh, you'd pay for the view. It's uh, more tourist oriented, but it is still a beautiful place. Even if you live here, to come and sit and eat, have a coffee, as you can see, it's incredible. This bamboo structure all bound together with bamboo, oh no, with uh, nylon rope, as you can see. Yeah, it's pretty incredible stuff. And uh, all the piers are like that around here. Even this little feature wall is made of bamboo. The shelving is made of bamboo. They have a free cool wine cooler over there with some champagne and wine in. Lovely little places to sit. Wash your hands, some bonsai. And you know, your Instagram photo set up here really is an incredible place the food's pretty good I'm just having a coffee this morning I may have something to eat uh, everything's bamboo the toilets are down this way you can see it's pretty high up and uh, some of you who've seen my videos I've seen the absolutely spectacular view here This is a very nice place to come and have lunch or breakfast on a nice clear morning. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Really is incredible. You know, they serve alcohol. They were selling ganja here before, but they, I don't see any at the moment. So I think they've got rid of it out of their place. Maybe they weren't licensed. You have to have a license to sell. And the government's flip-flopping on the laws. But, you know, they can never repeal the law that made it legal because, uh, you know, hello, the gate's open, the horses have bolted. So, yeah, Cow Yai Restaurant. This is one of the places I come to to have a coffee and eat. These things up here are made of uh, driftwood. All meshed together. Hammerhead shark. Picture gets a bit jittery when you zoom with the iPhone. And it affects the sound somehow. It's like the sound. So the goes. menu. Tea, coffee, drinks, soft drinks of course, fruit shakes, tropical passion, mocha banana mixed fruits, pineapple banana, mixed berry and mango. And then you know you've got uh, your crispy fried chicken wings, chicken drumsticks with fries, garlic breads, you know, your spring rolls, your tourist Thai food. And uh, then they have, you know, the curries, red curry, masaman curry, spicy soup. Chef recommendations, Thai food. Of course, a lot of seafood. Yeah, so you just get vegetarian. A lot of vegetarian restaurants in this place on Kotlanta. A lot of vacant places. So, seafood, a specialty throughout Kotlanta. Crab and squid. Crabs and squids. Squid. Burgers. Sandwiches. Noodles. Pad pie, spaghetti etc etc prawns lobster 250 baht a gram for 100 grams of lobster 
Look at that, torpedo lobster. Stir fried with butter, ham and cheese. Looks okay to me. Maybe next time. Fried lobster with garlic. Soups and curries. Fish. So a fairly extensive menu. Others, deep fried beef. Seafood curries, omelette with seafood. They even do pizza. Yes, and after looking at the menu, oh, and they do some nice Thai sweets too. Look at that. Banana fritters, boiled banana with coconut cream, which is that one, and it's absolutely delightful. Cow yai. That's what you're looking at. When you're eating your brekkie or having your coffee, which is about what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so Khao Yai restaurant. It's one of many I'm gonna do in a series on eating on Kotlanta.